guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. Well, I have a mega unboxing today and I'm really super excited. It's Scooby-Doo, but it's no ordinary Scooby-Doo, it's Scooby-Doo Glow in the Dark. And this is the Captain Scooby and the Pirate Fort Mega Set. <coughs> so, we have the Haunted Pirate Mega Fort. We have the crew here, the pirate crew, including the pirate van, and of course we've got a few monsters here in the front, a parrot and a camel. So, the pirate fort has a crow's nest, a working cannon, the rigging, a ladder, a trap door, also the pirate crew van and a drawbridge. And it's glow in the dark as well, it's so exciting! So I'm going to unbox it and check it out for real. So hold on to your hat, it could be a bit scary. <coughs> so that looks like it's the rigging. Mm, that might be a trap door. Oh, that's the crow's nest. Oh, here we go. Wow, guys, and here it is. Here we have the spooky pirate fort, and it's glow in the dark. And here comes Scooby in the pirate mobile. Run, my friend, looks pretty scary to me. Here's the drawbridge for us to attach to the front. It just clips in. And here's the cannon for us to load. And all we do is press this button. Now we've added the rotating ladder and let's add the crow's nest to the rigging. So that just clips on and when you press the button, <gasps> tips over. That's going to be fun. So first up we have Shaggy and he has the treasure map and the map has led them to the haunted pirate fort. So Shaggy believes that the treasure is hidden in the fort so he is first inside. And next up is Thelma. She's got her telescope, her Davy Crocky hat, and also she's got a musket. They don't call her Fearless Thelma for nothing, and she's next inside. And here's Daphne. She has a sword and a pirate's outfit on, including a pirate's patch and also looks as if she's found some treasure already. So, she's next in. Scooby is a little scared to go in on his own. His arms are fully poseable, he's got his sword and he's got his treasure map, complete with his fantastic pirate's outfit. And so, Fred is going to go in with him. Fred has a parrot on his shoulder and also he has his pirate flag. So all of the pirate crew are now in the haunted pirate fort. 
so inside, Velma's taking a good look around. Daphne's brandishing her sword just in case. Shaggy is taking a look at the map. He believes that some pirate treasure upstairs. Scooby is just hiding in the corner because he is so scared. But brave Fred is going to adventure up to the next floor. He makes his way up to the next level and realises that there is a crow's nest with some rigging. So he climbs up the rigging into the crow's nest. He's really pleased to have made it, but watch out Fred! <gasps> oh no! But Fred jumps up straight away. He's not hurt at all. Thank goodness for that. And Thelma's about to do something disastrous. She treads on the trap door and... Ah! Don't worry, Thelma, says Daphne. I've got it covered. And with that, she jumps on the trap door and knocks over Fred. He can't believe how quickly she's acted and comes to her assistance. But they've got it covered. Scooby announces that he thinks that the treasure might be upstairs. So in a flash, he runs up the ladder. And the others follow him. Scooby is still very scared, but he manages to run up the ladder. And Fred and Daphne soon join them. So Shaggy and the crew are nicely positioned on top of the pirate fort and Fred says, what's that noise? Scooby says, and Thelma with her telescope looks into the distance. What can she see? She can see monsters and they're heading towards the fort. Fred loads the cannon and fires. And fires again. That's the first monster blasted. And that's the second monster blasted. The crew are really pleased and give out in a mighty cheer. So the pirate crew bundle into the Scooby Wagon and they make a quick getaway. Luckily they did, because look who's come back to life. Ooh.